I think we see Willis coming out. There he comes right now. Six feet ten from Grambling. The captain of the next of most valuable player of the NBA. All of a sudden, this guy comes out, not limping, I'm talking about dragging his leg. When Willis walked out, I couldn't believe it. All over the arena, jaws were dropping. They were just screaming and yelling. The decibel was outrageous. I've never heard that kind of roar and uplift in the garden, ever. It's like, Willis is going to play. Willis is going to play. I would love to say that that was all contrived, OK? <laughs> His late arrival, but, uh, you know, he was receiving treatment. The Knicks welcome him. Willis hits a couple of shots, a couple of jumpers, and now the place goes crazy. They are actually cheering warm-up basket. It's a standing ovation at the new Madison Square Garden. This is a 38 sellout crowd, and they have been reacting to their knickerbockers the same way all season long. And he has hit two in a row, and they are beside themselves. The fans are saying, everything's all right. The captain is here. <laughs> and I'm saying, boy, this is a hell of a predicament to be in. Here I am, a guy on one leg, going to play the greatest score ever, big man. The guy, only, only guy ever scored 100 points in a game. And I'm going to try to do it on one leg. Now, here's that. The die was cast after that. I mean, just the whole magic of Madison Square Garden, man. It just, it just happened. I think the spirits of that team are so high. And it was something we had lived for, something that we had promised ourselves we were going to do the year before, you know, in Boston Garden, uh, that, you know, I don't think there was any way we were going to lose that game. So once we got out by 12 or 13, the, the, the Lakers never really made a bona fide run, but I was always watching the clock like tick, clock, tick. It was like it was going so slowly. And uh, finally, when I realized that, that we were going to reach the, the pinnacle, uh, you know, it was, it was like a dream come true. And now four seconds. Three, two, one. We have a new NBA champion. 113.99 became the most famous score in Nick history, but one thing that was lost was the game Walt Frazier had. West across the midcourt, loses to Frazier, drives ahead of the field, down the line, layup is good! He recognized the captain was out, and Clyde actually took over and decided this was my moment, and it certainly was. Walt Frazier, very simply, had the best game of a Hall of Fame career in the most important game he ever played and the most important game in New York Nick history. We personified team because you can't mention Frazier without Bradley, without the Busher, without Reed, without Barnett. And that's how the Nick fans viewed us and uh, that's how we viewed ourselves. We were players from different backgrounds that came together with one unifying objective, and that was to win the world championship. And it was as simple as that. We had great imagination. We had great discipline. We had great selflessness. And that's why we were a great team. We did something that no other team in the history of the Knicks had ever done. And that's great to have been a part of that moment with those men. Three, two, one, we have a new NBA champion.